so we move on to the last stage uh, transforming items into variable huh? items are basically we mean we, we mean the question statements that we have every statement that you have every question that we have we mention as yes item huh? item so if you have say for example four items in one variable so now that is what you have if you look at the question eh, here in the data usefulness if you look at the top here as you follow my cursor usefulness one two usefulness three usefulness four so you have four questions to measure usefulness so what do we have now four items but when you run the statistics or hypothesis we have to run based on variable so now we have to create the variable we have to create the variable so we are going to now transform the items into a variable okay so i go to analyze not analyze we're going to transform we go to transform then we click on compute variable are you following me transform compute variable so i click compute variable target variable see here you have to name that name of the variable okay so in this case this data is usefulness okay so i put a name and here you have to follow uh, you know how we do it uh, please follow me now closely eh? so this is what you have and then here you have another box on the right side name it as function group function group eh? so click all click all from the function group here click so if you click all then another box appears at the bottom so from bottom you have to choose the mean m e a n so that's what i'm looking for mean so i have it here mean so i double click the mean double click it will go upwards right it's, it's go to the upper box i will do one more so if you cannot follow the first time next time you will follow inshallah do not it so what i do first once i get the mean here i delete everything inside i just keep the bracket and then i double click double click the usefulness double click usefulness comma you have to put a comma manually then double click useful two you have to put a comma double click useful three you put a comma and double click usefulness four so you don't have anything in the bracket before usefulness and after usefulness four you know it's only those questions so i reset again and we do it again okay i reset i cancel it so you go to transform go to compute variable target variable we write the name okay and then we go to under the function group we click on all then we see many things comes at the bottom of it below this and we look for mean so you click on mean and we double click the mean double click m a a n uh, m e a n okay the mean is there so inside you have to question mark and comma you delete it it is there and now you go to the letter left side box and you choose the items that you would like to convert so under usefulness we have three four question items so you double click double click usefulness will come in or you highlight and you put the arrow also will come in so after putting the first one you have to put a comma after putting the first one you have to put a comma manually then i highlight the second one i can click on arrow it comes here then i have to put arrow comma again number three i put it inside i put comma again and then number four i put afterwards so that's what you have to do so once you are done with that please click okay now click okay so let me show you what happens be here on the data view on the data view you scroll with me towards the right you can see usefulness a variable is being created scroll to the right and you can see the usefulness a variable has been created so the item that we have three items usefulness one two three four four items we converted the four items into one variable that is usefulness that's what we need you know if you want to run 
one way anuva tiche is a correlation regression uh, you need the variable to test the hypothesis you need the variable okay so that's the variable you have so let us do one more let us do one more huh? so please follow me now click on transform compute variable and then inside the main we delete that okay and useful you have to change the name right so next variable is ease of use so we write ease of use and here you have to follow the same right so you already have that mean so we click is ease of use number one you put it in comma ease of use two put, put comma ease of three put comma and then we put four in so once you have that you click okay we click okay so it says you have illegal character you cannot do it you know why because ease of use cannot be written like that it doesn't allow so what you can do is we put ease underscore use ease underscore use later i will show you how to label it so i put it as ease underscore use because you cannot put any hyphen or you cannot keep an empty space in between the words okay so i click okay now all right so you minimize it and you can see ease of use another variable has been created all right okay now what you have to remember is uh, basically uh, once you have the data uh, we put the code and then we key in and then after that we'll be running factor analysis first uh, to test the validity then we'll run reliability once validity test is done properly dropping those items are not necessary reliability will be automatically high you know when you run reliability so factor analysis will help you uh, you know to identify the dimension the variables that we have in the research so that one i will do at the third third workshop a third workshop that will take long time i think three hours just to run factor analysis okay uh, so based on the factor analysis you may drop certain item and then you come back to reliability you might further drop items so when you convert variable from items those items drop during the factor and reliability those item will not be used anymore in converting items into variable eh? transforming items into variable we will only use those items give you higher reliability and acceptable validity we will only use those items uh, as i'm saying that you should not be worried uh, i will give you another data set whereby the data quality will be very poor so next session i'm going to run it and show you how to drop those data and how to keep you know those items remain and then we transform them into variable okay now um, let us do one more we go to transform compute variable i'm going to reset it so that you remember I reset it and i cancel it so you go to transform compute variable target variable huh? target variable here say for example he has uh, attitude attitude okay now we have to go here right under the function all and then bottom you will see the one called mean we are looking for mean right m e a n so we double click so it goes inside we have to delete everything right from inside and attitude remember attitude when it run reliability we drop attitude number one so we cannot take any more that item is already dropped so we take attitude two and attitude three only two so this is student particular student has actually three items to measure attitude attitude one attitude two attitude three but because of the reliability was low so we had to drop attitude number one so we dropped it so we can now use only attitude two and attitude three 
Now, please remember, to create a variable, you need to have minimum two items, minimum two items. You cannot have one item. If one item, it becomes categorical. So you cannot run parametric statistical tests. So you'll have problems. So you need to have minimum two. And that's why, personally, I will always advise you should have at least five items. Because certain cases, you may have to drop three. If you drop three, you still you have two. Minimum two is required. <laughs> if you drop two, you have three. So it's good. And if you out of five, if you drop one, you still have four. So minimum number of items required to run the statistics is two. So two items are essential, compulsory for you to have. So when you are dropping items, you cannot drop until point when it becomes less than two. Huh? You have to have minimum two. So attitude one, we drop. So we have attitude two and three. So you click OK. So if you minimize this, you can see attitude, another variable created. So that's how we transform items into variable. So in a framework, uh, my next session, I'm going to run the data together with the theoretical framework and hypothesis so that you can see how hypothesis are tested, OK? So if you have three independent variables, say, for example, these three and one dependent variable, so you will have four variables being created. So all the question earlier, you see, basically, these all are items. These all are items. These items are OK, because that's the data you have collected. But from the item, you have to measure a variable, right? So if you have a dependent variable and you have 10 questions, so those 10 items are basically measuring your dependent variable. So you have to combine the 10. You have to combine the 10 to make it the dependent variable. Or say, for example, you have five items to measure an independent variable. So you have to combine the five items together to make it a variable. And that's what we have done now. OK? So that's to recap again uh, what we have done today. We started with a very little introduction of spaces. I thought I shouldn't be talking a lot. So we have done that. And then after that, we started with how to open the spaces uh, from the software. Number two, we have learned how to um, do the coding uh, in spaces. Once coding is done, then we have learned how to key in the data. And then in case in your questionnaire, you have some negative items, then we have to record the data. So I have also shown you how can you record the data into same variable, or you can record into different variables. OK, I have shown you that. And followed by, uh, we learned how to uh, run the descriptive analysis. I've shown you how can you get mean and uh, standard deviation as well as the graph available, either bar chart or pie chart or histogram. You can do all those available in SPSS, can be presented in the research findings. I have also shown you each item that you have under variable, you strongly agree and disagree up to that. That also can be run in descriptive statistics and some useful findings can be gathered from there and can be reported, all right? And then after that, we proceed uh, to uh, run the reliability. And I've shown you how we run the reliability test. The point that you must remember, uh, the reliability test uh, got to be done based on variable by variable. Every independent, moderating, mediating, dependent, all will be run separately, all right, separately. And minimum acceptance level for PhD is definitely 0.8 and above, 0.7 and above, we do accept. But you have to learn. You have to read the paper. His paper must be read to understand the reliability test and all that. So reliability test is known as uh, the test of internal consistency and stability of data. So please read Nalili and understand more. And then followed by, finally, what we have done today, uh, we have learned how to transform items into variable. So we have many items to measure a variable. Sometimes, I have seen in a questionnaire a dependent variable uh, is being measured by using 25 items, meaning you have 25 questions to measure a dependent variable. So if you run factor and reliability and this 20 still stands or 25 stands, then you have to convert this 20 into one variable. So you have learned that today also. Okay.